Um, how big are the risks if I don't get my child vaccinated? The risks really are very significant. For example, the number of cases of measles is increasing quite steeply across Europe and across England. Measles can lead to complications, it can lead to pneumonia, brain inflammation and even death in rare cases. And also it weakens your child's immune system for a few years after the initial infection. It's highly contagious, so your child's very likely to catch it if they come in contact with someone who has measles. So vaccination really is the best defence against infectious diseases. I've heard that vaccines can have some serious side effects and risks. Would it not be better if I let my child build up their immunity naturally? You know what, vaccines are incredibly safe. Most side effects are very mild, like a little bit of fever or pain and can be easily managed at home. More serious reactions like allergic reactions are incredibly rare and we'd have the equipment to deal with that if that did happen. So I think the risks of not vaccinating are far greater than the risks of having a vaccination. Is it possible for a child's immune system to be overloaded by vaccines? I don't understand why they're all given together. It's not a good idea to delay vaccinations because it leaves your child vulnerable to catching diseases like measles that we've talked about. It's not possible to overload your child's immune system. We're all in contact with millions of germs every day and we manage to withstand that. Combination vaccines have been developed to reduce the number of injections your child needs and the pain and discomfort that goes along with that. Vaccines contain ingredients like aluminium. Could that be harmful to my child? No. Vaccines are designed to give your child the maximum protection. You know, with all these things, the dose is the key. For example, you will consume more aluminium salts through natural foods than would be contained in a vaccine. Vaccines are all tested and regulated very tightly, so I reassure you that they're very safe. What are the links between the vaccines and autism? I've read a lot of posts about that on social media. Now, I can really reassure you about that one. There is no link between vaccinations and autism. There have been lots of studies looking at this and there just isn't a link. I think there is a lot of fake news out there and it's difficult to find a reliable source of information. The NHS website is one that I would suggest. It's great that you've come in today to talk to me. There's our practice nurses, there's our health visitors as well, all of whom can hopefully provide a bit more reliable information.